Just leaving the meeting. Got a signed deal. Check in my pocket. <laughs> and a check. Let's go. <laughs> day so far it's about 3 17 in the afternoon but today has been super hectic and super awesome Dave I don't know if you want to tell us how it started out this morning yeah um, it started out with uh, a non-caffeinated phone call to a prospect and it quickly progressed into them basically giving us a verbal commitment on the first call um, my background is in information security sales, and this is an information security company. And, but they were all about it and super pumped to like chat and basically said, put the numbers together, put something together, give me some bullet points and a roadmap and let's do this. Yep. So, Verbal commitment. Can't go any Check. better than that. Like it literally doesn't get better than that. So that was super exciting. And then right after that we had a kickoff call meeting. Or am I missing something in between? Something else happened. Yeah, you had a client that. meeting. You had a client meeting. Intern. Yep, had a client meeting with someone that we've been working with for just like a month or two, went super well. Then we kicked off a uh, an engagement with seven new clients with a strategic partnership of ours. Um, that was awesome. Yeah. Went down the line, we're, we're gonna be working with some really awesome people in the health and beauty space. Um, in different kind of marketing type companies and then also in the fitness industry with some kind of influential people with groups yeah. and, and things like that. So that's gonna be super exciting. Um, and the woman who owns the agency is like a ClickFunnels OG. Oh she, yeah. She literally like has worked directly with Russell who Russell Brunson who started ClickFunnels. Like she knows her stuff. It's yeah, she's really a impressive. Badass. And it's a, it's a really great partnership because we find a lot of the times we're having to coach our clients on how to nurture the leads that we're sending them and that's like her bread and butter, but she doesn't know the lead gen side. So it's a really strategic partnership between the two of us um, where she's already built the funnels. She is um, doing the marketing, the videos, you know, really the whole, the email sequences, all that stuff is completely taken care of. Yeah. We just have to send highly qualified leads into their system and that's our, you know, standard for success. So really pumped to be working with her. Um, huge opportunity. A yeah, huge growth opportunity, oh, yeah. huge learning opportunity too to like see these really advanced funnels and how they're set up and just like get visibility to that. Like I'm really excited to just get passwords. <laughs> like yeah. See like how they set up their funnels and stuff. If you're cool. if you're trying to, you know, grow your business quickly, I would definitely suggest partnering up with some people, um, partnering up with different agencies. If you go back to one of our videos called Strategic Partnerships, you'll see the first one that we landed. And since then, we've gotten three, uh, well, we've had four, but right now we've whittled it down to just three core agencies that we partner with. Where, actually four. Actually, now. yeah, four, four, sorry, four. We had five, they kind of sucked. Yeah, when, <laughs> now, we're, now we have like the core four that we're working with, which is really awesome. Yeah. Um, so go back to that video. Like I said, it's called Strategic Partnerships. I'll link it down um, in the description for you to go and see. But on top of that, we just wrapped up a meeting that went really well with uh, another client where we thought we were gonna be kind of going into some rough waters because they hadn't converted any of the leads yet, but they were super optimistic about it. The leads were on point. They've just, you know, yeah. they're having multiple conversations. So that's going super well. And right now, we're actually headed to a meeting with a client that you guys have already seen in the video called Work With Businesses You Love. So if you're new to the channel, go back to that video, Work With Businesses You Love. It was the, the first time we met with this guy. It was probably like four months ago maybe at this point. He's in the record high-end audio industry. Uh, which David is super passionate about. He's yeah. been collecting for a long time. Um, so check out that video that's in the description. 
I really grew up going to this place with my dad, like back in the day, and just pumped to deliver a ton of value for him. I think we're literally going to change his life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, I really do. And just the backstory, we had a really good meeting with him. We we're ready to move forward, and it was predicated on him getting his website completed before we could work together. The website took forever. He had a pickup in business. I think uh, I think his, uh, his mother passed away. So it was just kind of a sensitive time. So we didn't really push him super hard. Yeah. Um, but we kept pinging him and just kept up to date with him. And David's been following up with him, you know, appropriately throughout the months. Yeah. And he just emailed David a few days ago and said, hey, business was killing it for me and now all of that has completely dried up and I really think we should work together so yep. we're headed to meet with him now and hoping that we can close a deal <laughs> just between our last meeting and this meeting I was like David get a contract ready yeah. so <laughs> if this doesn't get delayed we can hopefully just come to an agreement sign the thing and get started because it's been a long time working this lead so yeah um, yeah, super pumped. Like we were borderline about to give him an ultimatum that said, like, dude, our pricing structure is not even what it used to be. Oh yeah, we're like, giving him a deal. You need for to either sure. move forward with this or not. But um, before we did that, he got back to us, and you know, I'm just I'm super pumped to get this going. Like, it's just going to be a really cool account. Like, it's going to be a cool account just to work with. Period. Yeah. And you know, like I said, I think that. He's somebody who has really no understanding of like the power of Facebook, and I think that if we just show him people around his business coming through the doors from some exposure that we give him for pretty good price, I think he's going to be a happy camper. Yeah. So definitely. So yeah, so we're about to go into that meeting. Um, we'll let you know how it goes. Just leaving the meeting. Um, got a signed deal right then and there. <laughs> and a check in my pocket. And a check. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Fucking awesome, man. Uh, Went in there. We had originally, when we chatted with them last year, <laughs> literally last year, um, they wanted to go with kind of the tier one dialed back. We really thought the tier two package, we priced it so they'd go with that because we think it's really going to provide a lot of value, but it wasn't of interest back then, but they decided to just double down and do tier two today, and <laughs> feeling great about that. Oh, uh, it's so good. The best part is, like, we're going to blow their minds when we start running some fucking ads. Like, it's going to yeah. be... So just to recap, just because, like, I feel like we after these meetings, we're just fucking pumped and we don't even say what happened, yeah. but uh, <laughs> sat down got some chairs together we had two people involved one is a, a good loyal patron employee yeah and the owner and the employee is a little out there kind of if you would picture uh what the dude from pretty much yeah what's that movie called I'm blind. big lebowski big lebowski yeah kind of like that but the the owner super put together smart guy um sit down david kind of walks through the proposal immediately we just start jumping into how much it costs and all this stuff so i tried to pump the brakes a little bit and just say hey you know what's changed since last time to just kind of nothing really so went directly right back into you know features of what we're gonna do um had had a good talk brought up some good points about you know social media what we think we can do yep. Dave you can kind of t explain a little bit about the package that we yeah put so together basically for them. it's uh, right now their Facebook is non-existent for the most part they don't have an Instagram account we got to clean all that up we got to get content so we basically did a six-month agreement uh, that includes content creation so uh, normally be 1200 bucks a month 
um, or sorry, one time fee of twelve hundred bucks for us to go and like shoot all the content that we're going to use to like market. But to get them to agree to six months with us, we gave them that for free. Um, and tier two included all kinds of like email marketing and stuff like that, which is kind of the back end funnel that makes the Facebook ad so powerful. Yeah. We want to make sure we're capturing their information and able to you know remarket to them using the email platform. So they agreed to go with that. So feeling really good about that. And yeah. then it's basically paid Facebook ad and Instagram ad traffic, uh, coupled with management of those profiles and making sure that they're presentable and updated. So yep. pretty straightforward, social media, email marketing. Yeah, so their high-end audio equipment store, very expensive gear, you know, tubes, uh, vinyl, you know, really nice kind of collector yeah. type. Audiophile level. Yeah, recording. yeah. Um, so we're gonna be doing a video for them, gonna shoot some content to draw people in the store, events, um, get their Instagram going, which doesn't exist right now, like David just mentioned. Um, but yeah, we're super pumped. It's, uh, you know, an account that we know we can help and be successful with. Um, I don't know, couldn't have gone any better. Yeah. We, we sat we sat down and we went through all the, the deal, like I said, and then um, another guy came in the store and we were kind of BSing with him and then he's just like, all right, where do I sign? So yeah. I was like texting. And luckily uh, we uh, had the agreement ready yeah, to go. Yeah, we had the agreement ready to go. But had to so make some adjustments because we didn't anticipate that, so. Sorry I was like getting weird for a second because of course, you know, I'm, I'm just seeing buying signs all over. So I get my phone out and I text Dave, like get the contract out and I send it to him. Of course, as soon as I send it to him, literally both the owner and the other guy like go at his computer. I'm like, fuck, I don't want him to see that. And I was like, oh, I kind of like put the brake so they wouldn't go near his computer for like two seconds. And then uh, I don't know if the note, did you get the notification or did it, what happened? Did no, you even see I, I that? don't know. Okay, no, perfect. They, they didn't All right. see it. So I was weird for no reason then. But nonetheless, I was like, get the contract out because they're ready to roll. And then, yeah. like I said, that guy showed up. We started BSing with the, for a little bit. And then he just kind of leaned in and was just like, All right, what do I sign? What do I do? David busted out the docu sign. He had his iPad right there, sent it to him. David walked him through the signature, which is on our Instagram right now. So if yep. you're not following us on Instagram, search two guys build a biz, and you can see I, I literally was Instagramming yeah. him, signing the deal, shaking the hand, cutting the check, um, all that happened. So it was super exciting. Just a crazy day. Yeah. Just a really freaking crazy day. One thing day. I thought of I wanted to say too is like Patience. Patience. Dude. Patience. Yeah. And also make sure you know how shit works for the client, like how they get an email, that you open the email, you tap the thing, you sign the document, when you send an invoice, you, you know, explaining that process to them leaves everything on a good note and gives the idea that you know what you're talking about. Like it easily could have been us sitting there like, okay, the DocuSign sent and then being like, okay, what do I do? And us not knowing. Yeah. So it, it all comes across as like a, a polished thing if you just know like the technology and what you're doing and like send yourself an envelope, see how it works. Like, you know, okay, just make sure you know the steps of like yeah. how to do it. We actually maxed out because you, you get like <laughs> a, you only get a certain amount of like contracts you can create with DocuSign. And per we, month. Yeah, per, for per, per month. month. So we maxed out how many <laughs> contracts we could have on his account. So right before the meeting, it was like 15 minutes. I went in and made an account, sent it to him. He uploaded the contract and we booked it over there and just yeah. crushed this deal. So yeah, and I like I was saying earlier, like patience, like we may seem like we're all over the map and we're just like hustling our faces off, which is true. But like with this client and specifically some people you just need to be patient with and um, you know we hit them up as much as we could we provided as much value that we could um, we sold as hard as we could but at the end of the day things were happening like the guy had a, a loss in the family um, store you know the business you know he, yeah. he just wasn't ready he specifically said you know it's just my personality that I really just need to sit mow things over really make sure that this is the right move for me 
and then yeah. and then I'm all on board. So he was pumped. I mean, I think he. And it's a complete departure from everything they've done in the past. Like, oh yeah, it's hundred percent. And you're gonna bump into this for our generation. It's a no-brainer to yeah. live on social media. These are old it's school like, guys. They've had no reason to. They've had foot traffic, and that's like a type of business that Derek and I just don't understand because we're so digital driven. Yeah. And if you've grown up in our generation, that's how you understand the world. It's like, why would you not do Facebook ads if you have a brick and mortar store? For other people, like no amount of data or screenshots or proposals or presentations is gonna do shit. Like, yep. you need to just let them come do it on their own terms or, or maybe they'll never will. You know, and that's honestly kind of where I thought this was at. Yeah, yeah. it was like, I was like, yeah, we can totally knock it out of, park, out of the park for these guys, but if they don't want our help and they're not ready, whatever, we got other things to do, but yeah. it came back around, kept yep. pushing, Dave kept pinging them. I think, I mean like every month be like, hey, why don't we reach out to them? Why yeah. don't we see what's going on? Yep. So yeah, awesome day. Yep. Crazy, crazy day. What is, I don't know, where, it's like 28 clients yeah. now or something. Yeah. I think the last video we gave an update of where we're at. We're at like. Are we looking more 17. more tired and are we aging quickly? Is these yeah. videos going? <laughs> you have to be. You definitely are. I know I'm looking like shit. She's for waiting sure. for the comments to be like, "Damn, you guys need to take a nap." Like, tired fuck, as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our Instagram channel. You can see like more in the meeting type stuff that we can't really get away with by busting on a DSLR or something. Yeah. Um. And yeah. Until we're Gary V and then we yeah, can just exactly. have somebody follow us in there and they can expect it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A few clients away from that, but we'll yeah. see. Later guys.